Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. Chris here with another IBM ThinkPad. We've got a classic IBM ThinkPad. This is a ThinkPad model T60. Pretty cool design. Uh, the the old you know square ThinkPad design. Uh, as you can see from a condition perspective, it's in decent condition. And I usually find that a lot of ThinkPads, they do remain in decent condition over over a long period of time mainly because of how well designed they are uh, but also how well cared for they are most people who are thinkpad lovers uh care for their laptops uh, a lot more than uh than than other people might you know just knowing that you paid good money for something that was designed to last a long time so you're gonna you know take more care with it so we'll take a look at this machine here coming on the side here we've got our ultra bay uh, spot here right now there is a DVD multi burner installed in here and of course this can you know pop out and you can replace it with a bunch of different items um, most popular today is getting a hard drive tray uh, to install into this and that way you can add an, an additional storage device into the unit then we've got a pair of USB ports Kensington lock coming around to the rear of the system we've got our battery CPU exhaust and then our 20 volt 20 volt power dongle connector we've got more exhaust on this side vga output we've got modem and ethernet out we've got audio ports another usb port and then we've got a slot here for some expansion bays and i believe it's one pcmca card slot and one express card slot that are available on this and then just on the front here uh, we've got an infrared port and then we've got our manual toggle switch for our antennas. That would be for uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the system. Um, from a servicing perspective, it's pretty easy to service these ThinkPads. So uh, battery removal is just this one clip, which is built into the into the uh, battery itself, and then it's off. And then to get at the rest of the system, it's one, two, three, four screws to remove the wrist rest. And underneath the wrist rest is where you'll have your memory and then one more screw to remove your keyboard so all five of these will remove the basically the whole top of the system and that will give you access to your uh, wireless devices um, with a little bit of extra finagling you can get down into the cpu to be able to pull the thermal block off and be able to clean that and then this screw here will give you access to slide out the hard drive and then this plastic plate here is attached to the drive so um, if you're ever uh, going to remove these from a laptop um, always make sure to remove these little plates from the drive and attach them back on to the the notebook somehow because uh, without these you're exposing the drive and oftentimes you can't even have a drive permanently installed inside a system without these plates here to be able to to cover them up so Something good to remember if you're ever, you know, recycling or cleaning a machine up to uh, sell it off or, or give away. We've got the classic ThinkPad seven row keyboard here with the, the blue enter key and our ThinkVantage, a little tiny touchpad and the little buttons here with our track point. Still in great condition. You get a little bit of shiny, shininess on a number of the keys here, which happens. This is, I believe, ABS plastic. So it does lose some of the the texture over a period of time so you can see you could probably see here how some of these are are worn away a little bit and then we've got our nice screen here i believe this is the 15 inch display uh, at 1400 by 1050. Uh, there were a number of, of screens available on this on the, the t60 so it had a, a 14 inch a 15 inch and a 15.4 wide screen uh, which would have been you know like a 16 by 10 or 16 by 9 uh, fill in here but this is obviously the if this is correct and correct if this is the 15 inch this would be like the biggest screen uh, that you could get but it's not the top screen because there was a 15 inch IPS display with 1600 by 1200 resolution which would have been the highest resolution uh, available on this one uh, and then the smallest would have been a 1024 by 768 14.1 inch would have been a you know really kind of low end uh, low end screen smaller screen let's get this uh, let's get this guy booted up and see what we've installed and take a look at the rest of our tech specs we are now fully booted up into windows 10 now i have the 32-bit version of windows 10 installed on this machine and that is mainly because of some uh, i guess support limitations maybe that you want to call it uh, that exist on this era of machines right this is the 
first generation of core duo based products that IBM made with the ThinkPads. So this chipset, the Intel 945 PM chipset, uh, doesn't have, and, and then the processor with it as well, uh, don't support 64-bit instruction sets, which means that you can't install a 64-bit version of Windows. It also means that the maximum memory that can be installed in this system, while being four gigaworth of RAM, um, you can only address three and a bit of it. Um, so what I've got installed on here first, we've got the Intel Core Duo T2400 processor. That's a dual core, non-hyper threaded with a 1.8 gigahertz maximum of speed. Uh, these machines also did support up to a Core 2 Duo uh, Mirom processor. So they could go up to 2.33 gigahertz in terms of maximum processing speed. Uh, graphics wise, we've got the Mobility Radeon X1300, which in Windows use, Windows 10 uses the uh, default Windows graphics driver. The X1300s aren't actually supported in Windows 10. So you don't get all the advanced graphics features like Windows scaling and all that stuff. But it does support the resolution, right? It does support the, the 1400 by 1050 resolution. So at least it can handle that. Um, and this is the 64 megabyte version. Uh, there was a 128 megabyte X1400, um, or you could have had on the lower end just the Intel GMA 950 uh, graphics as well. Uh, for memory, um, again, I have three gig of RAM installed. So there's a one gig DIMM and a two gig DIMM. Those are both DDR2. And then we've got a 320 gig SATA hard drive and then that DVD RAM drive. Now, of course, there are some additional storage options. If you were looking at upgrading this a machine like this for your personal use, um, there's a couple of things. So as I mentioned, it's a SATA drive, so you could put an SSD in here. Uh, there is, I believe, an mSATA slot that you could possibly put an mSATA SSD in as well. And then you've got that Ultra Bay which you could put an Ultra Bay storage drive in, and then you could put another SSD or a spinning large capacity spinning disk in there as well. One of the big mods that people with these T60s use is they actually go out and hunt down a T61 motherboard. And the T61 motherboard gives them the option of doing a third-party BIOS. I think it's called Middleton's BIOS. Uh, and that one, you can actually unlock uh, SATA 2 speeds so that you can get faster drive capacity, faster drive performance, um, as well as I believe it also supports, the chipset on the T61 supports 64-bit instructions. So you can get more memory, you can get up to eight gig of RAM um, for a 64-bit Windows install or a Linux install, which is another popular thing with ThinkPad collectors as well as is looking at Linux installs instead of Windows installs. Um, but again, for the case of these machines, this is gonna be going and getting donated to somebody. So I stick with using the Windows 10 because it is supported um, and it is, it is, you know, comparably speaking for someone who's a computer novice, uh, it is compatible, right? It's easy to use. So uh, yeah, that's what we've got here. Now I will show you, we will, don't expect much, but we're gonna do a CrabRave test next and I'll show you, you know, where we kind of hit some limits on, you know, these first generation older, older machines that it's not gonna have the performance that uh, necessarily we'd like, but you know, it does get the job done. Okay, we've got CrabRave up here. Now I've set the resolution here to 720p and let's see how well it does. Um, I'm expecting we're gonna have terrible performance. We're gonna have to drop this down probably to half the resolution, but yeah, so it's pretty clear. We're dropping like half of our frames. It's a stuttery mess. So definitely not what we wanna have. Let's move this down. Right down to 360p. Now at 360p, We're still dropping 10% of frames, maybe more. And you can clearly tell, it's hard to tell with the resolution being a lot lower in terms of the, the quality where you see the stuttering, but it is not great. It is not great but it's passable. So if you needed to use this to do a Zoom meeting, uh, this the T60 doesn't have a camera, so you'll you know kind of be one way, uh, but you could get by with it. Uh, but for general computing, for going and doing a Google Classroom or for going and doing some LinkedIn learning or something, you know, it's gonna be able to, it's gonna be able to handle it enough to get the job done. And 
you know, give this machine a new life instead of sitting on a shelf somewhere or possibly just going into e-waste. So that's my quick look here at the IBM ThinkPad T60 that's been refreshed for uh, for donation. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you've got a T60 or have had one and what kind of modifications or upgrades you've done um, as a, you know, a ThinkPad enthusiast. I really would uh, appreciate uh, hearing from you and uh, getting that conversation started. As always, I hope you are staying safe and healthy, and we will catch you in the next one.